In this video, as we enter the third week of April 2024, we'll explore the essential new Skyrim mods you must have. At first, we're introducing mods that add several quests and check various locations. First up is Shadows over Ilinalta. This mod inspects locations around Lake Ilinalta and adds a few new dungeons and 10 quests. It conducts a thorough examination of Ilinalta's Deep, the Banner Mist Tower, and the Falkreath Watchtower and also improves the area around Lake Ilinalta by adding new locations. Moreover, this mod introduces 10 new quests and 20 new scenes, focusing mostly on narrative-driven decision-making and necromancy. All quests, scenes, and additional dialogues are supported by 11 Labs-based voices, so I believe you'll be able to immerse yourself and enjoy Skyrim quite a bit. Next up is the Tempest Isle. This mod adds a DLC-sized new lands filled with a complete script, voiced storylines, and an abundance of tasks and sights to see. Travel to Windhelm and find a new ship near the river that heads north. Well, By conversing with the ship's captain, you can set we sail set to sail Tempest Isle. This new continent includes three large islands along with several smaller ones, offering a variety of quests and intriguing characters embedded in custom scripts. It features a voiced main storyline new items, spells, enemies, and a world space filled with diverse dungeons to explore and plunder. The creators have designed it to feel like a true expansion pack for Skyrim, enhancing the adventure and fun of exploring new lands. Next up is the Unmarked Locations Pack, all in one. This mod adds over 125 new locations for players to explore. These sites are unmarked, featuring a variety of routes, unique interactions and encounters, as well as Easter eggs. For instance, it offers unique experiences like the Sealed Crypt near Markarth, or new boss battles in the Hjalmarch Marshes. Additionally, it is compatible with Lux Via, Northern Roads, Depths of Skyrim, and Creation Club content, enriching your exploration of Skyrim. Experience more new and astonishing adventures with this mod. Next up is Skyfall's Sleeping Heist Tree Overhaul. This mod completely transforms the sleeping tree and its surrounding area into an ancient heist tree with other atmospheric and lore-friendly elements. What was once an uninteresting part of the region is now reimagined into a more enchanting and mysterious place. The ancient and mystical history, along with its vicinity, now emerges as a site worthy of Argonian reverence, marked by ominous sounds that underscore its presence. Featuring a unique sleeping tree model, an enlarged water pool, hanging hist blossoms and landscapes, the mod has been enhanced in the style of creators, Skyfall, Tustrus, and sound mod specialist Clofus, making the location even more impressive. It is ESL flagged and provides compatibility patches with various mods, including Ember XD, showcasing the creator's meticulous attention to detail. This mod invites you to further enhance the Tundra region of Skyrim. In this segment, I'll introduce several environment-related mods. First up is Skyfall's Forest Fragments, Forest Debris Expansion. This mod adds various types of forest debris to Skyrim's forests. From fallen trees with mushrooms to high-quality rocks and even trees buried in the ground, it enhances the diversity of forest areas in Skyrim. With this mod, Exploring forested regions in Skyrim becomes even more immersive, especially the fallen trees with mushrooms and partially buried trees. Add to the realism of Skyrim's forests. If you want to diversify and upgrade the quality of Skyrim's forested areas, I recommend trying out this mod. Next up is VRAM R. VRAM R is an automated utility for Skyrim, optimizing your texture mods to reclaim valuable VRAM improve performance, and reduce stuttering. Moreover, it requires no scripts, ESPs, or the need to start a new game. VRAM R is an automated utility that optimizes texture files for your Wabajack, Nexus collection, or personal and unique load orders. The process involves registering this utility in your mod organizer, or Vortex, and then running it, as detailed on the creator's mod introduction page. Although not a mod itself, 
This utility program has been introduced to help automate the optimization of texture mods. Now let's introduce some creature mods. First up is the Hive Guardians by creator Mihail. This mod adds three types of creatures themed around the Falmer and Choros. The Wild Pit Roamer, Three Kreen Warrior, and Falmer Abyss Raider. From the Pit Roamers, which evoke images of wild boars and insects, to the Three Kreen Warriors that seem like they could be villains in One Punch Man, and the Falmers Riding Pit Roamers. This mod significantly diversifies and enhances the creature ecosystem in Skyrim with its variety and high quality. The attention to detail is particularly evident in features like the chest, on the back of the Falmer Abyss Raiders, the long spears, and the armor worn by the Pit Roamers. This mod promises to dynamically improve your Skyrim experience. Next up is the Fanged Gutus. This creature is a bipedal reptile related to Kagutis, characterized by its large fangs and massive mouth. Personally, it reminds me of a Zergling from StarCraft, a creature that, despite being bipedal, has an unusually short torso, giving it a somewhat unnatural appearance, yet it's quite adorable. Reminiscing about my StarCraft days, I summoned 12 of these creatures for battle and was surprised by their high damage output. If you're a fan of Kagudis or the Morrowind series, I think you'll definitely take a licking to this creature. In this segment, we're excited to showcase some NPC-related mods. First up is Mirakli, a Mirak replacer. This mod transforms Mirak from the balding middle-aged appearance to a strikingly handsome figure. In truth, Mirak is one of the villains opposing the Dragonborn in Skyrim. But when you defeat him and remove his mask, the sight of his pure, balding face can leave you feeling unexpectedly guilty. Deep down, we often harbor the notion that villains should be good-looking in a roguish way, and this mod reflects our desires perfectly by providing a visual replacer. Take a closer look at his features. The dark circles under his eyes are a testament to the stress of sleepless nights spent envying the Dragonborn's glory. Moreover, the facial tattoos, a bold choice not often attempted, proclaim him as a villainous heartthrob. With this replacer, you can enhance Mirak into a more authentic character. Next up in the Follower Dialogue Expansion mod series, which is being released weekly, is Eric the Slayer. How Similar to the previous releases in the series, this not. mod adds 174 immersive, lore-friendly voiced so dialogues for Eric the Slayer. Says, it also vampire. provides recognition features for various locations, suddenly. including cities and dungeons. The Hammer update includes new story-driven interactions and romantic and dialogues when Skyrim. married to Eric. It also enhances Eric's awareness of major itself. quests and locations, allowing him to react differently Skyrim. based on the player's Don't activities. Eric is a character of some importance in Rorikstead, and this mod is a great choice to further expand his interactions through the game. The last mod we're going to introduce is Yoark Sun's Shadow Rabbit. This mod adds a sexy female ninja-style outfit and katana accessories. With rabbit ear decorations and a mask on the head, it gives a cute yet ninja-like vibe, while the fishnet stockings and suit-style costume enhance the character's figure. If you enjoy playing in Assassin-style apparel, this outfit should complement it quite well. It's craftable at the Forge and supports body slides for CBBE, 3BA, BHUNP, and TBD bodies, making it easy to use. Feel free to give your female character a sexier look with this mod. Thanks for watching this week's must-have new Skyrim mods video for April 3, 2024. If you like these contents, don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell to stay updated on the latest and greatest mods for your Skyrim adventures. Until next time, happy modding and happy gaming.